About two weeks ago, I ended up breaking my Apple Watch Series 4 over here. As you can see, it's quite damaged. So I was in the shower, the watch was on the bathroom counter and I ended up knocking it over and it fell down on the floor and it hit the floor just in the precise way to crack the screen. Uh, you know, I've dropped the Apple Watch many times and it's been pretty strong. I'm surprised it didn't break before. But uh, this time, unfortunately, it didn't end up cracking. And it was still in perfect working condition until about two or three days later when I went on a yacht for a friend's birthday party. And it's so hot in Dubai that we decided to jump into the water to cool off. And I didn't realize that my Apple Watch is probably not going to be waterproof anymore. So that was the end of the Apple Watch. It's got water damage, it doesn't turn on anymore. And this screen crack was enough to completely destroy this in the water. So then I kind of decided that I'm gonna live without an Apple Watch for a little while, uh, switch back to a regular analog watch and uh, then wait for like a few months because probably the next Apple Watch 7 is gonna come out by September. So I thought, okay, I can live without an Apple Watch for maybe two or three months, but I was wrong and so I pretty much immediately the next day decided to get an Apple Watch Series 6. That's what I have right now. It looks exactly the same as a Series 4, you can't really tell. But there are a few reasons why I decided to go for the Apple Watch so quickly and why it's become such an integral part of my life. So in this video, we're gonna talk about why the Apple Watch is so amazing and uh, why I really need to have an Apple Watch now. The first thing is Apple Pay. So I've gone almost completely cashless in the last, I'd say seven to eight months since Apple Pay has been adopted in almost every single store in Dubai. At least out here, 99% of the places will accept Apple Pay as payment. And yes, you can use your phone to do Apple Pay, but uh, on the phone, you need to have full face ID authentication in order to pay. So that's always a pain. You have to take off your mask and all that. Plus your phone might be in your pocket. The Apple Watch is the best way to pay with Apple Pay. You just double tap on your wrist and just hit the, you know, the thing and it's gonna pay for you. It's so easy to do it, it's so beautifully seamless. And just having this as an option to pay is always great. Even when your phone's not around, you'll be able to pay with the Apple Pay on this. This has become the primary way I pay for everything right now. The second really important thing for me is unlocking my computers. Now my new MacBook Air does have Touch ID on it and this is an old iMac and till very recently the iMacs didn't have any kind of biometric authentication on it so the Apple Watch is actually the solution for that so if this computer is asleep I can just tap on my keyboard it's gonna do a proximity check and check if my Apple Watch is close by and if it is it'll unlock the machine for you I use this probably 10 times a day to unlock my Mac and even on my MacBook Air I have enabled it even though I have touch ID on it like it's just a much simpler process to unlock your computer with your watch. You basically don't need to do anything. You just tap the keyboard and it unlocks the machine. Another killer feature they add in very recent months when it comes to authentication is being able to unlock your iPhone without a full face ID. If you guys aren't familiar with face ID, it's Apple's biometric facial recognition system which unlocks your phone. And it is extremely secure and also requires a full face readout. So sometimes when you're wearing reflective sunglasses or if you have a mask on, it's not going to be able to recognize you. But with the latest version of iOS, they've added the Apple Watch authentication method in there. So it'll do a partial face ID and also have a partial Apple Watch recognition, so it, it's combining both to unlock your phone. And it'll notify you every time it's using the Apple Watch to authenticate. It's just so much simpler to use that when you have a mask on than any other authentication method. So Apple doesn't have a fingerprint recognition in their phone. So this is the next best option. So the next point is fitness tracking. The Apple Watch is an amazing companion trying to track any kind of workouts. So I usually do uh, strength training. So it has the strength training support in there, but I also do cycling, I do swimming. So uh, it tracks your laps for you. It'll track your cycling you know, distance for you. It's gonna give you a GPS measurement and a map of where all you went. It does elevation tracking for you in the watch as well. So it's a really good tool if you have any kind of fitness goals, especially with cardio sports. And the other aspect of fitness, which is really interesting is it's always checking things in the background for you, which you might not be aware of, like your heart rate, 
uh, you know you can do an ECG on these things you can do blood oxygen monitoring on it it's got so many uh, points of fitness that it's tracking on you and you might not even realize it until you open the health app on your phone and you'll see like this wealth of data that you can see about you uh, over time which is really helpful because you can see okay last year what was my like cardiovascular health versus today yeah you know and so it gives you a really easy and quick way to kind of track your fitness over time another feature which i can almost not live without anymore is being able to ping my iphone from the watch uh, i have a two-year-old who's constantly running around the house who i'm chasing around all the time so my phone gets left in places around the house my phone's always on silent so i can't really call it to find out where it is so just having the ping feature from your apple watch you'll be able to find your phone in a couple of seconds anywhere in your house or in the vicinity. The last thing which I really love about the Apple Watch is its ability to be a remote for any of your Apple devices. I had a previous bad experience where my iPhone cracked because uh, a weight fell on my phone and it completely destroyed the screen. So now I always keep my iPhone far away in like a locker or like in, in you know, somewhere away from the weight but I'm still able to control my podcast or my music or my volume for my AirPods through the Apple Watch. Additionally, if you have something like an Apple TV, then you can also control your Apple TV through your Apple Watch. And honestly, the control experience from your Apple Watch is pretty amazing. And the Apple Watch is smart enough to figure all this stuff out. If you start playing a podcast on your phone, the, the remote functionality will automatically pop up on your watch. Similarly to the Apple TV, when you start playing something on your Apple TV, the remote for your Apple TV will pop up in your watch. So it's a very easy, convenient way to you know quickly play pause your music, control your volume, skip between tracks, and it's really a beautiful solution. Now, apart from uh, you know audio playback and things, you can also use your Apple Watch as a remote for your phone. So I use this many times and I'm using my phone on a tripod. I'll actually start recording and stop recording through the Apple Watch. There's a camera app which allows you to remote control your phone. It can also take pictures. So these are like the core features that I love about the Apple Watch, but the Apple Watch is like capable of doing a lot more things. There are lots of apps and things that you have on the Apple Watch, but these are the main reasons why I use it. And I don't think I can live with a normal watch anymore. I just quickly wanted to touch on the Apple Watch Series 6 and the differences between this and the Series 4. There's not too much honestly, they look almost identical. The key thing that I thought was different about the Series 6 is the Series 6 now has an always on display and it functions in a very intelligent way because this screen is able to go down all the way up to one frame a second. If you see over here, the screen will actually dim down and go up to one frame a second and that's gonna help you reduce battery life. But as soon as you turn it, it turns on the screen, you get a lot more brightness, you get the full 60 Hertz refresh rate. So it is a really smart implementation. I will let you know though, that the battery life is slightly worse, I feel, than the Series 4. Like at the end of the day, I have about 45 to 40% battery left on the Series 6. Whereas on the Series 4, I felt like I had more closer to like 50 to 60%. Like this could go for two days. This feels like a day and a half. So. It's still plenty of battery life. It easily lasts the whole day, but you kind of do have to charge it every night. So they have some sleep tracking features on this, but I just don't use it because I charge my watch at night. Hopefully in future generations, they'll be able to push that to like two full days of battery life. So you can do your sleep tracking as well. And overall, it does feel slightly faster. The haptics feel better on this one, but there's not too much of a difference from the Series 4. So if you are looking to buy an Apple Watch, I would say the new Apple Watch SC is an excellent value proposition. And that's almost similar to the Apple Watch Series 4. Uh, it doesn't have the always on display and, and a few of the things are missing, but overall, whatever I spoke about today, you can still do it on the Apple Watch SE as well. And the Series 6 is just a little bit nicer to have with the always on display. I'm super happy with it. Uh, I definitely need to have one now in my life. Apple, man, they always suck you in with this ecosystem stuff, but when it works together, it just works so well. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. If you liked it, hit that like button, leave me a comment, subscribe to watch more videos like this, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.